Okay, so set it wise for me, very, very good. Again, for a tall person, you stand the goal well nice. You've got good posture there, generally good fundamentals there. Grip pressure was too tight. Yeah. Everyone I teach, for the most part, squeeze on for dear life. It's almost like they got more control by gripping the club tight. Mainly through your thumb pressure. If you squeeze the thumb so your forearms and your elbows get tight and your biceps get tight, you on. can't move. Yeah. You're very restrictive in your movement, okay? And that's, that's sort of showcased in here, okay? So your first move now, as we saw, as the club went around the left-hand side, whips it way inside, mm -hmm. club very flat, barely getting above your well, left shoulder with your hands, but nowhere near your right shoulder there with that club face at all, okay? So very low, very flat. And that kind of angled swing around here is going to encourage that sort of say Beckham free kick yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just, and then what happens you just aim further and further right which encourages more and more of a swing this way which encourages oh, more mate, of a hook that explains everything because you're a bit massive I'm trying to go, go I'm trying to go really far right and it's ended up coming around like that yeah, yeah exactly I mean, you, I mean, you get to the point where you almost miss the ball because you're yeah. so far I mean this way that the ground beyond the ball is and where they just yeah. don't going to work so, so what you've got to try and find as the club goes back Club goes back over your toe. So the hands work in, club stays out, okay? When you're on the range or at home practicing, stick a club down on your toe line, okay? Mm -hmm. Not on the ball line, not on your heel, but on your toe line, okay? This yeah. is important. If you get it wrong, you'll start practicing the wrong things, obviously, <laughs> okay? Swing back to there, and then just swing up as high as you can. Look at that. Wow, that's a lot different. <laughs> it's a different swing. Right. Okay? And then swing. It's a bit long, which is fine, okay? Because yeah. you get a bit collapsed there. But swing to there, okay? And then pump back down again, okay? Back to your checkpoint, back up again. Brilliant. So okay. I don't want to be bending that left arm. Not really. Bit. You want to try and push away a little bit. If it does bend a little bit, don't think about your left arm. Just think about just pushing those hands up, making yeah, it above yeah. your right shoulder. Your left arm will start staying more. If you lock your left arm again, we're back to tension again, which yeah, I don't yeah. want to have. Okay. So let your left arm kind of just sort of work out its own kind of movements there. Okay. Yeah. Don't think too much. That's the main thing. Up the top again. Again. At least in terms of your hand position, you're a lot higher. So you're not, yeah. not going to hook it from there. Okay. And then back down again. And then just step to the golf ball. Now, what we generally see is an in between the practice and your old swing. So, whereas your hands are up here, your hands on your old swing were there, mm -hmm. we'd expect your hands to be sort of somewhere in and around there, okay? So, yeah. as you went back on here now, the club was good. And there's your hands, okay? Yeah. So, just over your right shoulder, which is fine. Again, very good position compared to that one there, which is so far behind you. Now, as the club comes back to the golf ball, we come in that sort of pre-hit position. Your club now is in line with your toe line. So you're hitting the golf ball now, in it that way, not in it over there yeah. somewhere and trying to flip it round behind you, okay? Oh, yeah. As you strike the golf ball, good strike of the ball, turn to the target, again, good functional swing. Whereas this one, as you come in the golf ball, that club's coming from sort of way back here, way in here, way in there, and just, yeah, it's just hook. And again, that club coming in so flat bottoms out early, you're going to top a lot of shots as well. Yeah. So when you're low and flat as a tall guy, you're going to top it, hook it, oh, and then you just try yeah, and do everything. That was my biggest problem, is to yeah, top, top and hooks. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's generally the well, top and slice, but top and hook to yeah, sort of two just common things. Yeah, I got rid of the top, but again, it just felt wrong. It felt yeah, well, you were adapting to it, yeah. so you were sort of putting masking tape on it, okay? So, yeah, yeah get that the toe line on the way back. That's your checkpoint there. You can practice that as much as you like to get that feeling of the club staying in front of your hands there. Does this work with a driver? Every club in your bag. Yeah. Apart from a putter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but in terms of your putter, your putter still does that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, he's not going to whip something. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. And even on sort of small little chip shots, there's a few sort of subtle changes in terms of setup, but for the most time, a yeah. full swing, club over your toe line. That, that, that is such a better position compared to where yeah. you were, and then through the golf ball. It's weird, right? Because, shot. I mean, I don't know where the, the like, the left, I, I wasn't hitting any clubs with any. I'm not going to even call it draw. Draw, call yeah, it, yeah, a hook, yeah, 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 yeah. Right to um, left spin, we'll call it, yeah. Basically, yeah. yeah. Um, and then it started It started with my irons, mm -hmm. and then my driver, which I was pretty consistent hitting yeah, really yeah, straight, yeah, yeah. and just now, it's almost certainly going to go out there. And, and just big spin out, yeah, exactly. What um, you'll generally find is the ball start going one way or the other because of club face. You yeah. might have turned it a little bit one way or the other, or turned your grip a little bit, so the club face comes back a different direction. Then your reaction to that is actually swing further right. So you, then you swing further right with the club face left, it goes further right to left. Then you aim further right, now you pass even further right, then it goes even further right to left. Yeah. And just over time, you just end up trying to mask the fault by going further right, which actually encourages more left. Mm -hmm. And then you, you'll make you slice the ball, you aim so far left. Yeah. And the further left it goes, the further he slices it. So holds where there's trouble on the right-hand side, the third on the button, the fifth, seventh on the Mac, he's aiming like 80 yards left. And probably slicing it either way back in there or just about hanging onto the edge if he's lucky. Or smothering it low left to try and avoid the rubbish. So we can actually think, okay, you want the golf ball here, let's swing it there. Not go, oh, I don't want to go over here somewhere, I'll swing it over there. The same as a slicer doesn't want to go over here somewhere and swings it that way. But every so golf that all, does So if a, a, a pro will, uh, if they want to draw or fade, yeah. will they just do more of that swing? Yeah. So they'll, they'll, they'll just do it smaller, Max. Smaller, amounts. Two okay. degrees, three degrees, not 20 degrees. Okay, and next yeah. level will do the rest of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah.
Make sense? Yeah, that makes oh, Excellent. Yeah. Good stuff, mate.